Which is also Muhammad. Which is Muhammad. Yeah. Adar is a yes kama ifanim. In Tere itself, there's also two levels. A from Shalima da Tere, Kameshikosav Hanech, Lenar Alpi Darke. When he starts learning, he's learning for the reward. He's, you're teaching a child, you're training a child. He has to look for many ways. He has to look, he has to, he has to, the teacher has to find many different ways how he can relate this subject to the child, that the child should be able to understand it. According to his standards at that time, and then there's a from Lima da Teira, Shalima Teira, Kefishu Bashamayim, Shehi Bashamayim, as Teira is in heaven. The Agam Shalima da Teira Boritz, although he's in this physical world and he's learning Teira, Mekoma Kem, Eifen Alimot Shalei, who Shein is Shaykh as Klalim Tsias Ailam. He is learning Teira in a way that he has no Shaykh as the world. He's completely isolated from the world. He sits and learns and he's not dealing with worldly matters. That's his occupation. He has no connection with Inyoni Elam. So, okay. The same way that we have these two, in the, the, these two the different, these differences in learning Teira. One that is starting and we have to draw down the topic according to his understanding and uh, standards, a child. And then there's one that's learning Teira that's completely alo- uh, uh, isolated from the world. He removes himself from worldly matters. The same way in Teda itself, there's also two levels. There's a level of Teda which relates to the world, the level of Teda which is higher. Okay, this is but I am as it's mentioned in the Zayar bin his boy, we get a Sakedish as it says in the Gareth Sakedish, which is probably Chavov. We get a Sakedish Chavov, a Pashtus. The Balagula. Shirkiach. The Beteda Haniglis, Eitz Hadas Tevara, Yes Bokashio Machlekes. That in Teda Haniglis, in the revealed part of Teda, there's a mixture of good and evil. Adal Rebbe speaks about it there. This yes, but kashu machlekes. This questions. Questions means something is not clear. There's a darkness. Turning over the page, vitzorich li yes melchamta shel teira, and there needs to be melchamta waging war in teira. What's the waging war? Letaritz levara maskona to to answer and clarify what the final <coughs> word is. Ah. It's 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 uh, it's that that not in, in nigelatere. Nigelatere is machlekes. Yeah, but before it's that learning is shalom, and learning is mirchama. There's learning teira. There's learning teira. Even nigla, he's learning piskei dinim. That's the union of shalom. But when it comes to melcham to shal teira, the the controversy and everything over there already, there's a melcham. But it's a melcham in teira. Melchama doesn't have to be you know with uh, you know fighting. Pisuah is also melchama. That's why, you know, like the Rambam say, you know, you know, Tzayach and Mashiach. You know, whatever it's Mitzayach. Yeah, but, 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 but here when he's talking about Muhammad, I mean to tackle Muhammad, because you see the next line at the end. O Pnimi Satayra Eitzachayim, Pnimi Satayra Chsidus, it's called Eitzachayim, the tree of life. The least time on Lake Asher Chulu, there's no questions. Vad le Mayonis Tere Shabal Shemtev. Till the wells of the Tere of the Bal Shemtev, Shin is Galso Bediri Seinu Betere Sachsidus, that it was revealed in our generations. In Tere Sachsidus, so this is been again to the union of the redemption. Now, or b'shalim. Now we go to the union of mikrovli. That it means it's in close range. The b'dia could be either berichuk or bikirib. It can be remote. He can redeem the sparks, the sacred sparks that are hidden in this world, in a remote way or in a direct way, in a, a close range. So what does David HaMelech say? Here it's something exclusive. It's in a way of Kiruv. He is in close range to these sparks that he's redeeming. It's understood. Based on the explanation of the Alter Rebbe, that when a person prays, his eyes should be lowered and his heart... <coughs> should be thinking about higher. That he should also be able to relate to the matter. He should be able to relate to the world around him. What is the reason for that? That in order that when he leaves davening, he should be able to make this world a vessel 
and a dwelling place for Hashem, and he should be able to relate to worldly matters in a way that he doesn't just jump for the cake or whatever it is because he finished davening, but the refinement of davening should have, a, have, a, have a, an impression on him. So therefore, he needs to already, middle of davening, calculate already how he relates to the world. And that is why he has to look down the ain of the matter, according to Chassidus. I know that even where his heart is connected with higher, he should be able to see the matter. He should be able to relate to the world and the world and its matters. Limadat is in a way not that he just has a conversation, has a controversy, learns it, walks away. He doesn't know where he's holding in the world. He doesn't know what is the final word in a practical sense. What does he do? That's what's had a regular problem. They, yeah, know, they, they wanted the everything. Machshav and Dibur. There was Taka Maisa. The Rebbe once told a story. There was a Yid and a lady came to, to a Rav with a chicken. And, uh, and she asked, is the chicken kosher or not? So the Rav started to talk with her. The Taz says this. The Shach says that. All the comes says, Rebbe, is it kosher or not? You know, she needed to know a practical answer, and he's telling her all the commentaries, what this one says, what that one says. He says, Rebbe, could I eat it or not? <coughs> God will mind, so the, what is it? To come God will to come down a practical sense. That it's limude, his learning is in a way that it comes down the maise, that even limude, which he's learning engrossed in, the, in depth, it is a liva de hilchasa. It is a liver de hilchasa. It has to come down the maise. Hamaskona la halacha le maise binyoni elam. He has to push it, come down the maise be pale. What does he do? Shadavke oz. Through this, al yedei alimod beifim kazer, who bore elamitis havonas alimod vakavona. When he knows that he's going to have to give out a verdict based on what he learned or what he, there he's being asked. He delves into it even more yet than when he's learning it in, in, uh, just for the learning. In the Hemshech Samavov it says that when a person is learning something, when it's Negeel and Maise, he understands the depth more yet because he delves into it. He has to pass him. And when he has to pass him, you're talking Kun's uh, you know, theory. He has to know exactly what the reasoning, what the background, what the logic. And Bemele then he understands it deeper. Which shows that dafke bishas it has to come down lower. It's connected to higher. He he understands the learning better. Then the pasuk concludes. The verse concludes. Umamshech because of kiverabim how you imadi. Peter she'alav bazel. What does it mean? The first Peter she is that it's accomplished through the tefilas harabim. They prayed for him. She calls her nasal yidei tefilas harabim. Kafilu kasher adam yisroelu betachas hashleim as bavidosi. That even when a yid, any Jewish person. Is in his fullest potential, in his fullest and highest standard of his service to the Almighty. So even then, there is an additional quality added in his tfila when he davens with the public, with a minion. Although his avedas are shleimas, okay, moving gamet filas haseres and mechuvas, it's understood from the ten days of repentance. Shalom Razal, our sages tell us, hasam biyachid hacha bitzibah. That hasam over there is speaking about a single person davening, and hacha over here is speaking about bitzibah in public. Shet filas hayachid baseres and mechuvah, he can make filas harabim b'shari meisashona. When a single person davens on his own in 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 haseres and mechuvah. So it is like a tefillah sarabim, uh, like a minion davening in the middle of the year. Which means that an individual person davening on his own, privately, in the ten days of repentance, so it is similar to the public in the middle of the year, which means it doesn't come to the real elite. You cannot compare the prayer of an individual person in ten days of repentance to the prayer of a congregation. This is one meaning, Tfila Sarabi. Babirish Abes. Ah? Yeah, the Tfila Sarabi and Baser Shem Echuba. In the day, the says the Tfila Sarabi as they pray in the repentance. As the congregation pays, they praise in the days of repentance. 